Welcome back to Journey. Last we left off, I got past a big desert, and in this part, I could either get what I'm guessing is a new symbol for my scarf to be much longer, or I can do some skipping and do what is the main mechanic of this game. Or at least level. You see the scarf, you make it chime, and it gets bigger. It releases a whole lot of mini scarves, and said mini scarves create a fancy bridge. It's all good looking. And now that that's done, maybe I can do something a bit more systematic and go see that little glowing symbol. Because as you saw in the last part, it enables my scarf to grow. And as a result, my levitating powers increase. And in this case... Levitating here gives me a somewhat significant boost than my last display, hopefully. And now I can also do the same thing as I did to that big bridge to free these smaller scarves again it's not as significant as these big machines but it does help refill my scarf power so let's be a bit more meticulous or at the very least let's increase this ruined scarf Thing to unleash all these little scarves and now that that's done I can go ahead and just levitate on this scarf and optionally I can do that so I don't have to really do my sign ability to make a chime and yeah in regards to move sets that's pretty much it for any special abilities I mean I can press the space button constantly to make several tiny chimes but that honestly sounds somewhat annoying and now that that's done I can have my masked or robed wanderer try to make it to that second sign thing at the very least you can see a significant growth on my scarf and let's free whatever is in here it's another group of mini scarves useful in getting me up in the air or refill my scarf energy and apparently the people of this city had giant saws I mean I know this is some fictional world but you would think some of the rubble would look like something that served the purpose to this area and now we free those two and 
let's go towards this waterfall here because it looks like it has something I can use to learn about this world. We go in this waterfall, we find this mural, I make signs, and it looks like this place used to be a big castle area. And as neat as that looks, let's see what freeing this big machine gives me. It gives me some big scarf fragments, and now I can use my flight ability that has been recently increased to increase my scarf length even more. Unfortunately, that isn't very significant, but at the very least, we see that the sand here is light enough that I can use it as a sort of surfing ability, or I can use the sand to just surf along, which means I don't have to worry about flight or speed. I chime at those little scarves to give me a boost, and as I glide along that big scarf, it unleashes all of these mini scarves to replay the bridge building cutscene again. And as you just saw there, there was a second robed individual not really helping me, but he does interact with me if he ever saw me. He is somewhere around here. And while I would like to interact with him, I feel like I should hurry up and figure out how to get the scarves to quickly get to that bridge area. So I can use my flight ability here, maybe do my chime here to get them to make me levitate slightly, and for now it looks like the other robed guy is all the way there. I mean, I could let him be the leader here, but I have a feeling that I have collected everything I can in this area, so let us quickly ascend the bridge. And here we see that the bridge made a soundtrack change. And since I'm here, how about I take a little picture of this area? which I just did, and now I can just ascend a little bit further, and as we go a little higher, I can play my chime ability on these two, and 
play it here again. And it looks like I have another cutscene to sit through. So essentially, this big bridge was originally a part of a grander structure. I guess that is expected with all forms of civilizations. They get made, they get bigger, and eventually they fall down. And with that, we go up this stairway and no doubt reach some new area a different desert rather than shimmering gold sands we have this weird pink atmosphere pink aesthetic, green skies, and a big mountain that we apparently have to traverse at some point. Well, at the very least, at this point, my scarf is rather huge, and I think I will end this part here. So tune in next time where I shall explore this great big desert and maybe watch some of my other videos. So please like and subscribe.